by surprise on that, but also not being as close as you wanted to come in here as well, I guess, for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I'm sure we comprehend how you're on pole in the last race and we're 1.8 seconds off today and not obviously just a max, but we were you know, six steps behind the Alpines. Always when the temperature's cold, we struggle. We saw it in Imola this year. We've seen it in uh, many other Fridays when uh, it's been a cool Friday. We just can't seem to get the tyres working. So yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Uh, I'm confident we'll have a lot more pace tomorrow compared to like the Alpines and the McLarens and the Williams as well. Um, but you know, we'll still be probably half a second to a second behind and Red Bull and Ferrari. We saw it, yeah, you guys having to do that second push lap, but actually in terms of the race pace and looking after your tyres, it's been a pretty positive sign this season. What can you achieve tomorrow and how difficult is it going to be to say you can get a podium here? I mean, it depends how quickly, I mean, I think Max will probably still win the race. I don't know where he's going to be starting, um, but with the pace he's got, he'll probably still win the race and then... This guy's crazy. Hatsbex will probably win the race. I feel like more people should say this so in the media. So honest from George Russell. You love to see it. Go there and Max is going to slice through the field pretty, pretty uh, quickly. So, I don't know. We need to look overnight, try and understand it. Qualifying's out of the way, which has been our weak point, And try and be faster tomorrow. So how's the mood in the team then if you've... Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not great for sure because we. Toto Wolf wasn't ordering pompadicos this weekend. It was that dis. It, it was that digressing. We didn't have the fastest car or the second fastest car, but we definitely have a car that's capable of more than P8 and, P, uh, and P7. So, yeah, we, we've got ways to do. Thank you.